Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I figured I would review another western film, of course, because I do have, okay, let me bring this over here, folks, quite a bit of them to view on my to-do list here. Yes, I know, again, like I said before, I know this is technically a, a note book, but I'm calling it a to-do list anyway. I have a lot of Western films to review. I'm not going to be reviewing them all at once, of course, just a bit at a time, obviously. Well, the one I'm going to be reviewing today is the one titled Rough Riders Roundup, which of course is a Western movie. But anyway, nonetheless, I have to review the movie and talk about the story and whatnot. So let's talk about the story, I suppose. So this is basically set at the end of a uh, sewing row of uh, an era, a rough era, I guess, because it's at the end of the of a war, Spanish American War, where this character and several of his companions, I guess you would say, in arms with the Rough Riders, of course. They pretty much would become like some sort of U.S. border patrol kind of a thing on the Mexican border. So let's just say there's some sort of conflict going on because now at the end of the Spanish-American War is now finally over. Let's just say that things to become pretty interesting. Their goal is to stop any outlaws who are stealing gold from the stage, the stage wagons, and are pre and are supposed to do their job and whatnot, and supposed to keep things in line or what have you. So of course, there's supposed to be some sort of conflict. Going on, going on here, and since this film is like what, maybe barely over an hour, so it's gonna, it's gonna feel, it's gonna be pretty action packed. At least it's gonna feel that way anyway, which of course is a good thing considering the fact that this film is not very long at all. So of course, keep things, try to get to the point of it. So yes, this is one of those cheaply made films from the past. And it's old, it's pretty obscured, and I want to use that as an excuse to talk about this movie. And that's what I do anyway, I like to review old movies. I really do, I, like, I enjoy doing this kind of a thing. So, even though, like I said before in my previous video, when it comes to western films, it's not my favorite genre really, but I would occasionally, from time to time, watch these kind of type of movies. And I want to review them because I guess just to keep things interesting so you won't know what I'm going to review next. So, yeah. Trying to keep things refreshing, I guess. Because I'll go review anything, really. I don't mind it. But even if it's not my really my forte, really, but at the end of the day, it's still a movie. It's still a movie at the end of the day. And it's a conflict. Always have to have a conflict, conflict within the story, within the context, of course. You don't always have to have like a villain or anything, but you do have to have some sort of conflict, maybe some sort of disagreement or what have you. Something to push the plot forward and some sort of goal to be accomplished here. Some sort of thing. You have to push the story forward some sort of way, I guess. Because keep the viewer interesting. It's a part of storytelling to have a bit of drama. Even if it's a western, you have to have some sort of drama going on, obviously. And that's what they do here. I don't want to get too specific because I rarely spoil any kind of. Uh, in my reviews, I rarely spoil anything really. So I'll just keep it at that. I know that there's some there are some things about the plot, about the characters, 
and whatnot I want to talk about, but I don't want to spoil it really at all. I'll kind of what I say is if you're a fan of the wrestling genre, if you're a wrestling of like cowboys and bandits and all that, definitely check this out. <sighs> oh, yeah. Gotta have a drink from once in a while. Yes, yeah, sorry. And, yeah, and there's not much to complain about this, really. Yes, he doesn't have the big budget special effects or whatever that Hollywood is, became known for. Yeah, the, none of that's here. None, none of the fancy stuff, sure. Because, like, like most of the films I review, the production here is pretty, pretty dismal. Oy. Well, folks, I've been around for quite some time. I've been around for ages. I've been around for over 100 years. That's for sure, because... Yeah, I was around even before YouTube ever came to be. I was around before the whole thing when it comes to VHS tape. Oh, yeah, I remember that back in the day. VHS tapes. I was around before even before that. Oh, boy. I know, I'm not as old as I look. That's for damn sure. But I do miss the VHS tapes. I did have a VHS tape of this movie, that's for sure. Saw it in the theaters, and I saw it in the, in the VHS tape. Mmm, I do miss that. Really do. I miss, I miss, I miss playing the VCRs and whatnot, or the old tech. I miss that, honestly, I really do. There was so much fear to it. There was so much charm. Okay, okay. Okay, getting sidetracking. Getting off memory lane here. <sighs> Gotta reminisce. Gotta reminisce once in a while. Not wrong with that, I guess. Not really. So anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.2 out of 10. I give it a 7.2 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. Oh yeah. See ya.